What's up everybody? Bright and early today is the first Carson Coffee taking the GTR. Real quick, I pretty much sold all the 370Z parts. I still do have the wheels, however, I am gonna put the Vossen wheels on the GTR. I think they'll look pretty good. The diameter of them is only a little bit smaller than the stock ones on the GTR, so I think that should work fine. I also do have brand new Nismo floor mats that the original owner of the Z gave me, so those are brand new Nismo ones, and then I have the trunk liner. So I'll have info to those in the description below. But yeah, let's hit the road, and real quick, this will be the first time the GTR actually gets to meet the Audi R8. So Mike and I each have about an hour and a half drive, coming from totally different directions. So we'll do a cold start in the GTR. Not exactly that dramatic. There's a lot more engine noise than there is exhaust noise, but nonetheless, that'll change eventually. So this is actually my first real road trip with the car. I've gone over 200 miles with the vehicle already in the last week that I've owned it, but I haven't really done just a nice highway cruise. But already in the last week driving this car around, I've been playing with a lot of the settings to kind of get familiar with it. It's taken a little bit getting used to the different modes, how everything works together. And so far my favorite mode to drive this, I actually like the suspension and the comfort setting. That does a really good job just taking the edge off the little bumps in the road. It makes it a little bit easier going over the small bumps, but being that the chassis of this car is so rigid still, you can still feel every big bump you go over. So it's still really rigid. And then when you put the suspension into the R mode, everything gets so tightened up. You can feel every little tiny bump in the road, not only through the suspension, but through the steering wheel and everything else. So it's kind of fun to mess with the suspension. And then the drivetrain setting, the R mode in manual, it is so responsive. As soon as you click the paddle, it shifts and it kind of just banks through the gears really quickly. So that's a little bit of a road trip review in the GTR out on the highway. It's a little bit noisy. There's not as much road noise as there was in the 370Z, but it's not as quiet as maybe a BMW M4 or something like that. So it's a little noisy, not too bad though. Comfort wise, like I said, in comfort mode, it's really smooth. The visibility is awesome. The rear window is huge, so it's really easy to see out of. An overpassing good car. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so quick. It's taking getting used to how quick this car really is. So I just got a call from Mike. We are both about a few minutes out. Got a Corvette in front of me and an older Maserati behind me. Oh, actually, I see an R8 way behind me. That has got to be Mike. There's, that's got to be Mike right there. We'll zoom way in. See him right there? Let's answer this. Hello. Hey, are you in line right now? I think I see you. Is a Raptor about to pass you? Yeah, you got a little like Mini Cooper behind you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm right here. Sweet. First time I've actually seen the R8 with me in a car out on the road, and that thing looks so clean. Actually, guys, I'm going to park like right there behind a bunch of GTRs. Mike, you can, uh, you can find your own parking space, but I have to park right there. I gotta go park with my brothers. Although, my brother is actually not gonna park near me, but we're gonna park next to this Porsche. All right, first time with the GTR Cars and Coffee. And I got a bunch of GTRs near me. Let's find Mike, hopefully he pulls in right near me. So I got my space and Mike, He's got the R8 right next to me. So this is the first time the GTR and the R8 are actually gonna see each other. And they're parked next to each other at Cars and Coffee. What better way? All right, so made it to Cars and Coffee. Mike's filming a video for today too. So this is the first time we're filming two videos at once. But here we go, the GTR and the R8 meeting each other for the first time. It's definitely a lot bigger on the GTR side, but looking good next to each other, no doubt about that. So we got a 570 GT. I haven't actually seen one in person. I figured there'd be a little more space in the back. It's got a lot of space. Well, yeah, but it dips a little bit. Yeah. So here we got the Aventador S. First time seeing one in person. Young enough to say that he's young, but... That is sweet looking. Thank <laughs> you. 
So check out the Shelby. Looks like a full-on drag car. That is actually it's a 5.0, not a Shelby, but it is supercharged. Very sweet. Now we got ooh, some Skylines on the original, well, the 90 Supra. Well, I certainly like the R35, but not R34s, but still, these are the real original Skylines. Look at those, blue and red. This one, pretty clean. And then, of course, we got the Supras. This one's got a nice setup on it. Some Boston wheels. So here we got a Model 3, first time seeing one of these. Not sure why the wheels are different, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's like 35 grand, so it's an affordable, actually really good electric car. Tesla is doing something different. A Ventador SV, always good for this bad boy showing up. But, Got a sweet Huracan with some carbon trim. Look at that. So another look at the cars without cars next to them. It's crazy how much smaller the R8 is than the GTR. I mean, look at that. My mirror is almost like top of my mirror is at the bottom of yours. Yeah, really? It's almost it's like a thousand pounds less, but I think my car's still faster though. But we'll see. But that thing is a nimble little go kart compared to the GTR. So much different. <laughs> All right, so we're finishing up at Cars and Coffee. We're gonna head over down the other side of the parking lot, get some photos of the cars. First time they're together, and Mike is heading back to his place at the end of today. Let's just stalk him as he films. <laughs> We've never filmed a video where we're both filming. I wonder what he's saying. Oh, you guys will see that in his video. <laughs> All right, on to location number two. Finally can take a good look at the two cars. We're gonna get our new YouTube banner back here. But look how sweet they look together. What do you think? R8 and GTR, which one do you Man. like better? Well, <laughs> obviously the one I bought, but they're still both awesome. They're like the same, but totally different, I think. Oh, yeah. Definitely clean looking. What's up, guys? Okay. It's a sweet Jeep. Something. <laughs> so yeah, what do you guys think? GTR and the Audi R8. Basically, this is a more practical, faster car. This is a little bit more nimble, least practical, but more exotic car. So they both have a lot to offer. But yeah, let's get some photos real quick and then continue with the day. So that wraps up Cars and Coffee for the first time with both of the cars. Both the cars together and my first Cars and Coffee with the GTR. Now we're going to make our way to Foreign Car Charlotte and Metrolina just to te check out what kind of supercars they got going on. I think Metrolina's got a pretty cool Vorsteiner Huracan and we'll see what Foreign Cars has. But that was a really good turnout. Alright, we're getting on the highway with Mike behind me. Let's see if he can keep up. Oh, this is bumpy. All right, made it to foreign cars. Porsches are honestly, they're starting to grow on me. When I was little, I didn't like them at all, but yeah. I mean, the new generations, I'm loving them. So we got a GT3, and then I believe that was a Turbo S. Yeah. I love the yellow stripes, that's so clean looking. All right, on to Metro Line and now. Mike's pulling in. Look at that sick looking Forerunner. That is a nice setup. And we got the Lamborghini Huracan. Same one that was here last time. 
Oh look, an R8. <laughs> cool, let's go check that out real quick. Or when you get an exhaust, I think you should get some type of tip that looks like that. What do you guys think? No, Let me know cool. what kind of exhaust for my V8. So here is the other Lamborghini. This is the got the Vorsteiner kit. The wheels and everything. We got the other one outside and a sweet Porsche. That is so nice. This is my car. Manual, roll cage, I think you can bucket get seats. Yeah. This has a tinted windshield. All right guys, so we actually just took a quick detour to the jewelry store. I had to get my watch resized and Movement Watches is actually hooking all of our subscribers up for a $15 discount. So if you guys are looking for a watch or a pair of sunglasses, you'll get 15 bucks off your next order. <laughs> That's a little awkward, is it? but uh, check out that. It's super clean look. I went with a solid silver one. Mike's got some rose gold on his, but 15 bucks off your watch and these are customizable. So like our cars, we want to mod them. You can modify your watch. So I'll have all the info in the description below. Definitely take advantage of that offer. Well, I think this might be, yep, this is where we part with Mike. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's making a left, I'm making a right. So good time, good time hanging out with Mike at Cars and Coffee. Road trip back in the GTR. So overall, driving the car on the highway, a road trip like this, it's pretty normal, really nothing too crazy about it. I definitely like it in the comfort suspension and the R mode for the transmission and in manual mode. It's a, it's a good car to drive, easy to use, and of course the power in it is insanely fun to play with. That's unreal, but man. Awesome time driving the car today. This is really my first road trip actually getting to experience the drive, just cruising in it. I definitely like it, I definitely really enjoy it. But I think that about wraps up the video. Checked out Cars and Coffee, a little bit of road tripping in this, meeting up with the R8 and Mike. So I think that is about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with the GTR and the R8. So anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all next video. Oh,